welcome to my bedroom and a bit of holiday packing. So I said that I would share a few of the key things that I am taking with me, the things that I really love that are making it into my suitcase. So what to start with? Well, I guess I'm going to Italy, so it's gonna be quite hot. So I'm gonna start with sun care. So I'm taking two brands with me. Um, this is Walida Sun. I really like it. It is, I think, fairly new. It's an SPF 30. I will put all the details, by the way, in the link. So I'll create a little page on the Lizard Wellbeing website so you can go and check them out if you want more information. Some of them will have Liz Loves discount codes. Not all of them, but some of them will. So if you want to check out if there are any affiliate deals, then please do. I like this because it is ultra waterproof. So it's really good if you're going to be in the sea, in the pool. Um, it does leave a bit of a whitish finish, just to warn you. If I put some on my arm here, you can see but it stays put, you know, once once it's on, that is it, it stays on and it is completely mineral based. It's good for kids as well. So that's it on my skin. And actually, do you know what, to have a little bit of whitish during the day, I'm not so bothered about. I really use it a lot here because this is an area that can really catch the sun. And if you want, you can pop a little bit of bronzing powder on the top just to disguise the colour of it, but you know that your skin is protected. Walida, really great natural brand, love it. So that is going in my case. Um, for the face, I do prefer something a little bit finer. So this is a really nice brand. It's called Heliocare 360. And this is a broad spectrum, so UVA, UVB, and it is an SPF 50, 50. Now, this isn't completely mineral, but it does have titanium dioxide, and it's a really good formulation. So again, I'll just pop a little bit on just so you can see the difference. It's really sheer, so it just kind of disappears. So really good for like the backs of the hands, Again, you can use it here. I use it all over the face. And then if you do use a bronzing powder on top, don't forget that that's also adding to your SPF. So the more powder or foundation that you put on, you're actually creating that mineral protection as well for face and neck. So fundamental sunscreen. Um, the next thing is, I guess, body. So I really love the Margaret Dabs firming leg serum this was a fairly new discovery for me smells amazing it does lots of things it firms it's got ingredients to help prevent puffiness you can use it on the plane or the train or in car journeys smells good it's got ingredients in there that just help to revitalize and help with the circulation love it so firming leg serum that has earned a place in my bag. The other Margaret Dabs product that I also really like is her leg scrub. So again, this was a fairly new discovery for me and it contains sugar and natural oils like argan oil, which I'm a big fan of, rich in natural vitamin E. And I actually use it two or three times a week. It's great for if you are going out in the sun because it just keeps the skin really soft and smooth and flake free. If you're going to be doing some sunless tanning, fake tanning, which I'll talk about in a minute because I'm going to take some uh, self tan with me as well. Then it's a really good prep for that. But it's also really good on anywhere where you just need a bit of smoothing and softening. So upper arms, for example, hips and thighs, you can take it over the tummy. Really love it. So although it's quite a big tub, it's definitely going with me in my bag. And I think we do have a Liz Loves discount code for that one. Um, talking about body, I'm also taking the Al Alfresco Anti-Bug Bite Moisturiser. So this is an absolute essential. I have traveled with this literally for decades. It's a really good moisturiser and it smells great. It smells like a really expensive Mediterranean cologne but it keeps the mosquitoes away. So I always use it, you know, if I'm going out, if I'm sitting outside in the evening, having supper, particularly on the lower legs where those little bitey critters tend to get you, going out in the evening, it's really good. So it's multitasking, it's making you smell good, it's keeping the skin really soft and smooth and the mosquitoes and the other biting insects don't like it. So that completely always in my travel bag. And in fact, I also now take their cologne, it's called Aqua de Fresco. Love it. In fact, it, I've used it for so many years now that it just reminds me of holidays. Every time I smell it, oh my goodness, that just, for me, that just smells of Italy. 
um, really, really like it. And they also do little mini handbag travel sizes. So you can keep that in your carry-on luggage or just take it with you wherever you are. You know, you may be in Scotland plagued by midges. Just pop that in your pocket or your handbag. Really good just to top up. So it doesn't have any DEET. It doesn't have any of the synthetic chemical pesticides. It's an essential oil blend, but it smells like a really great fragrance. If you're watching this in August, 2021 then there is a Liz Loves discount as well I know they sold out because it was so so popular but hopefully they got stock back in so I do highly recommend it um also for the body I take talcum powder talcum powder isn't something that I tend to use during the year but when it's really hot this is my current favorite and again I've used this for a long time it's a traditional British brand Floris this one is called Safiro Safiro I don't know if you can see that and again, it smells like the Italian Riviera. It's just sort of slightly citrusy, fruity, a little bit floral, but love it. So really good quality, fine talcum powder, great to use underarms, you know, under the boobs, thighs, inner thighs, you know, anywhere actually where you just need to control moisture between your toes with sandals, really good. Uh, what else do I do? Okay, so talking about the body, um, hair removal, yeah, really, really important. So I use um, a company called Sugar Coated. This is actually their soothing mist, which you use after waxing. And it's a sugar based wax. And again, I think there's a Liz Loves and they do different ones. They do facial, they do bikini line, they do body. And again, you can take it with you or you can do it obviously before you go. Um, but they also make this, it's called Soothing Mist and you use it after waxing, but I actually like it as a body tonic. It's really fine. It doesn't really have much of a scent, but it contains witch hazel, which again is really soothing, anti-inflammatory, just astringent toning, lovely to use either after waxing or just when you need to freshen up a little bit. So that is going in my bag. Uh, what else do I have here? LBB, this is the hydration balm. And again, this is really good to take actually in your travel bag because it's a solid stick. So you just wind it up like this. It has amazing oils and you can use it. You know, you can use it as a lip balm. You can use it on heels, hands, face, neck, anywhere. Really good. You know, I usually rub this all over if I'm sitting on a plane. So that's going in my bag. And again, being a stick, it's really good. You can, you know, it's quite compact doesn't take up much room and it's multitasking the hydration balm. Check that out, LBB Skincare. Um, talking of skincare, for the body, I'm taking this. It's the Better You Magnesium Skin Body Butter. And actually, I'm going to take a different pot because you can see that one's virtually empty. I've been using it so, so much. It's got magnesium in it, so it's really good for helping to encourage relaxation. I use it last thing at night. I find it a very good after sun moisturizer, you know, particularly on shoulders and arms. You can use it on legs. It's rich, but it's not sticky. So although I think it's designed more as a sort of nutrient, therapeutical bit of body care, uh, is that a word, therapeutical? Yeah, it is now, isn't it? Therapeutic bit of body care. This is really good. So a brand new one of these is going to go into my bag. Um, talking of sun, I'm going to take my Amanda Harrington products. You may have seen that I did an Instagram live with her. I think it was last year, last summer. Love, love, love her things. She is the self-tanning queen. So this is the body mousse. It's called Illuminating Bronzing Mousse with Hyaluronic Acid and aloe vera and it comes with gloves and you just have use it um where does it say to use it use it all over actually i'm trying to think of where i use it you put your tanning gloves on and then use your scrub so i'm actually going to be using the margaret dabs leg scrub i'm going to be using that all over wherever i want a bit of self tanning and then you just basically leave it on your skin for about six hours so you can use it last thing at night and wake up with a bit of a glow it is really good so that is tried and tested. So that's coming with me. If I've got time, I'll do it as well before I get on the plane, but I may not have time. And the other thing is her gradual tan. So again, I really like this because it's hydrating. It doesn't turn you orange. It's a really gentle glow and you can build it up. And that's what you want. You don't want to tan the skin because a tan is, is really a sign of your skin saying, ouch. 
you know, so I know it's good for vitamin D and all of that, but particularly on your face and up here, the decollete, the arms, the hands, you know, you don't want to do that because it's going to encourage sunspots and sun damage and pigmentation as well as obviously the risk of skin cancer and melanoma. So I really, really like this. And the way that you use it is you use it, you apply it with a brush. So I'm taking both my brushes with me. I don't think I've got the smaller brush here, but I will go and get it um, to get it into my bag. So basically you put a bit on here, you can see where I've been using it, and then you just apply it wherever you want to get that extra glow. It is really good. So thank you, Amanda. Amanda Harrington and team, really good. She's got such a great range of um, getting the glow products. Oh, here's my small one, here's the facial one. So yeah, you pop a little bit on here and then you just sort of do that. And then you get a tan, natural tan that develops. You just basically apply it wherever the sun would hit your skin. So kind of up here, cheekbones, you know, down across the collarbones like this. And it just gives you that glow. And of course, when you come back, everyone says, wow, you look so amazing. You must have an incredible weather. So even if you're on a staycation and it's rained all day, it doesn't matter because you can still do a bit of fakery with that. Um, a few other key things to share with you before I go, things that I always have to take. Clearly, my HRT goes with me, never without this. So I use the Body Identical Oestrogen Gel. It's called Oestrogel. Make sure it says Oestrogel and not Oestrodose. If you need to peel off the label, please do. Lots more about that on my Lizard Wellbeing website. I'm sure you know about that by now. A um, little bit of testosterone gel as well, just a tiny amount. And of course, the Utrogestan, which is the micronized progesterone. So that's definitely always going into my bag. Big pair of sunnies. Obviously, you want the bigger the better because the bigger the frame, the more that they protect the delicate eye area. Um, talking about the eyes, I am actually, for the first time, going to take my cell return mask with me. I love it so much. I don't want to be without it. So this is actually going into my hand luggage. And I've worked out, I've got the neck array as well. This is the one that you use like this, round the neck. Um, and I've worked out that I don't need to take the base station for this. I can just take it on its own. And it actually fits inside the mask. So that's my mask there in its little bag. And I can pop the neck array inside like that. And then this just fits into my carry-on duffel bag style um, carry on. So I'm not going to entrust this to checked in luggage. I'm actually taking that with me. And we do have, of course, the 10% Liz Loves on sale return. Yes, I know it's an investment, but believe me, it is an amazing piece of kit, which is why it's coming with me. It's earned its place in my bag. And actually, these are the chargers for them. Normally, you have to have an adapter um, to get the UK plug. Of course, going to Italy, I can just take this. But I will be taking a load of adapters, so I'll probably take my adapters as well because nothing worse is there than getting out there and finding that you can't plug anything in. Talking of which, I also take a long extension lead, so a really long lead with rows and rows, about four of the plug sockets in because by the time you've you know plugged in gadgets and phones and iPads and you know, hair dryers and what else. And inevitably the switch is in the wrong side of the room and doesn't reach the mirror. So, you know, long extension lead for me is an important thing. Uh, I intend to stay fit when I'm out there. So I'm going to be taking my instep. Well done to all of those who got them. I think Julie just has a few of these left. These are the resistance bands, perfect for traveling because they're so light. You pop them under your feet and then going out for a walk, you know, you can do your arms at the same time. You can do stretches. So, you know, once you get off the plane or out of the car, wherever you are in the comfort of your own bedroom, you know, you can just literally do a bit of working out. And she's got lots of videos online um, on her instep website. Uh, there is an 11% Lives Loves discount on that, I think. Uh, just a couple of other things. So, I always seem to get cuts and nicks and things like that, maybe because I'm doing a bit more walking. So I like germaline that comes with me. It's a little bottle of liquid skin. If you don't know it, stings like crazy if you apply it to a little nick or a cut, but super protective. And I think these days, you know, do make sure your tetanus jabs are up to date. But, you know, if you're going out walking in the woods or the forest or wherever, and you do get a little scratch and you need to keep it really clean and just seal it, particularly if it's rubbing on shoes or sandals, then a little bottle of germaline goes with me. I always find that if I take it, 
I don't need it. And it's the time that I don't pack it that I think, oh my goodness, I wish I'd packed that little bottle of germaline liquid. Two more things, last but not least, at the end of the day, I always try and protect my sleep. Obviously, I may be having a little bit more of a lion, but sometimes it's hard to get to sleep in a strange environment, different noises, different sounds. Always take my earplugs, obviously. But two things that really help me, the Life Armour Drops of Slumber. I think there's a Liz Loves discount on those. This is just so good. In fact, I'm taking two bottles. I've got one in here and one here to make sure I don't run out. I just use a pipetteful like that just under the tongue. Last thing at night, that will sit on my bedside table and it has calming, sedating herbs that just help me switch off. I know lots of you love this, really swear by it. And last but not least, good old bottle of English lavender oil. This is a really nice one. Uh, this is Neil's Yard in their classic little blue bottles. And again, a few drops on the pillow helps you sleep, helps you switch off reminds me of home, it tells my brain that actually it's time to just be calm. But it's also really good if you do overdo it in the sun and get a little bit of sunburn, it's one of those oils that's safe to use neat on the skin. So, you know, say you just get a little bit of redness here, just pop a little, a few drops of lavender oil on your fingertips and just rub it here like this or here, or guys, you can use it, you know, the notorious bald patch, tops of the ears, wherever. Obviously, if you can avoid getting burnt, then please do, but if the worst happens, Lavender oil is such a friend and I put it in the children's bars and I drop it on their pillows and it's great if you're trying to combat jet lag and all those things. So there we go. So that is my beauty edit, health and beauty edit for my well-being travel bag. And I will follow that with a new video coming up, which will be my fashion bag, what I'm going to take to wear to go with all this goodness for the face and the body. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget you can click to subscribe if you'd like more from the Lizard Wellbeing channel. And if you'd like to see which of these are available on discount, because my team do work really hard to try and get affiliate codes for as many of the brands here that we mention as possible, then please click the link, go to the Lizard Wellbeing website, and there's a whole section called Liz Loves, and they will all come up, all the ones that are in date and valid. So, bon voyage. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.